Okay, so today uh, what we're going to do is um, how to get started with uh, Nextcloud. Uh, this is just going to cover the basic install, and the way we're installing it is we're using Docker, and we're using Docker with Ubuntu. So currently we're in a directory called uh, Nextcloud, so just create a directory in the Ubuntu, um, and we're using this Docker Compose uh, file. So uh, again, just like what we did in the LAMP stack tutorial, um, to use Docker with Docker Compose uh, is a good way of linking uh, containers together. Um, and the reason it, it's nice is because it brings in, uh, it automates and creates a network so that uh, if you have multiple containers, they're all linked together uh, and they're automatically brought up in that fashion. So when we uh, look at the Docker Compose, um, we can just uh, cat that out over here uh, and when we look at this uh, when we look at the file you can see we're calling in um, two services that each service essentially is a uh, container so when we bring this in we say okay we're building container the image for this container is going to be Mario DB uh, we want the container to always restart unless you choose to stop it, so unless stopped. Um, you can also set this restart to restart always, which is how they have it in the uh, Docker Hub as a reference uh, down here. So they have it as restart always, which is what the uh, Nextcloud, uh, the official image, suggests. Um, I like doing unless stopped because uh, a lot of times when I'm using containers, I'm, I'm not necessarily an expert with that particular container or that service. I'm bringing it up to test it. Um, so I might be starting and stopping, starting and stopping quite a bit. Uh, and I want to make sure that when I do stop it, the container actually does stop. If you do restart always, even though you stop it, uh, the container will then restart again because it thinks it's supposed to always be running. Um, so that, that's what the uh, restart always does. Uh, the other thing is um, uh, I changed the version from version three or version 2 to version 3 uh, in this version of the uh, Docker Compose file. Uh, Docker Compose YAML. This is the configuration format. Um, so this file, the formatting and everything, uh, it's very important to get spacing correct uh, in the YAML. I think I touched upon that again in the uh, LAMP stack overview. Um, the next uh, service that we have is the app. So this is the service app. Um, we have the container. Uh, the other thing that I did was I added uh, names to containers um, just so that's a little bit easier to uh, manage them and work with them in Docker. Um, and uh, we assign the ports. This is just like uh, how it's over here. This link it goes to the DB. So essentially, this what this does is this DB means it links to this service over here. So the services, you have a service name uh, so that the services know which, which is which. So the service app is the Nextcloud app. Service DB is the database that they're bringing in, uh, and they're using a Mario DB. Okay, so we followed all of that pretty much the same. Uh, the only other difference that I did is I created or I linked to uh, two directories. So one is the data DB. So I created a directory um, as a subfolder over here. And I also added a uh, data over here. So data is where the app or the, where the next cloud um, instance is going to run, which essentially has um, an Apache web server running in the background and all the next cloud data files on it. And I also have a data DB directory. Uh, we can look at the directories here. So you see there's a data and a data DB. Uh, and because I wanted to test this beforehand, because um, I didn't want any surprises during the video, uh, you can actually see that the, the two directories are already populated. Now the containers aren't running. Uh, we can see that again by doing Docker PS. No, nothing's running. Uh, but they are existing. So if we do dash A, it shows all the containers, even though it's not running. And we can see, indeed, uh, we have the names that were given and called for um, in the Docker Compose YAML file. So to start these containers, um, we could just say start uh, Docker start next cloud, Docker start uh, next cloud DB. Uh, I'm just going to do it the, the way I did to bring it up initially, which is to run sudo docker compose up. Dash D. Dash D means it's attached. If we don't add the dash D flag, um, the terminal is going to be showing all the messages. And as soon as you close the terminal or you exit the terminal, um, this, the com Docker Compose and all the services might stop. 
by doing dash D, it means we want it to run silently. So let's see if this works. Bring it up, starting next cloud, starting next cloud, DB. OK, uh, now we can see if we can log in. So we're going to go here. Um, we set it to uh, port 8080, uh, which is you know the traditional sort of practice port or the, the if you want to ping this uh, container to a, uh, a web server port, you usually go 8080. Um, and that's what we showed here in the YAML file. So this is where we did that. We mapped port 8080 of the host system to port 80 of the container so that the Apache service, which runs on port 80, HTTP, um, the HTTP service, uh, when it goes out to the host, um, from the host, it's going to be running on port 8080. Okay, so we're running here. Now let's refresh the page and see if this comes up. Oh, it's set to HTTPS. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that was a little mistake on my part because I, I had first tried to ping this um, just to get it ready. And by default, Firefox wanted to go H. So when doing the refresh, it tried to go to HTTPS. But actually, um, because this is just a test system, it's just running on a local LAN. It's behind firewalls, etc. cetera. Um, so it's, it's only pingable uh, on HTTP. So that was the reason. Um, now, this is the first fresh page. So this is where you, you set it up. So you can create an admin or, or user. It could be any name you want. And you give it a password. Um, I'll just have uh, this password. Uh, now, you can install recommended apps if you want the full experience. Um, I personally just set this up initially to play with as a file share. So I'm going to follow that just for now. Uh, but you can also use this and then in Nextcloud, it's a very powerful system. So you can have lots of features, lots of functionality, like, oh, I can have uh, contacts. We can do uh, chat over the local network. Uh, we can have email. We can do calendars. Um, it's, it's hugely collaborative. It's a, it's a wonderful project. Um, now, here we get this error. Uh, I talk a little bit about this in my uh, blog post. This error has to do with the way the default Mario DB um, image is running. So my guess, uh, what, what I what I think is, um, is that this sample image, which is where I got all the preferences, likely works. Um, but it likely worked uh, when they first made this post. Um, you can see they're on version two in this in this reference. Uh, switching to version three may have caused the problem. Uh, I think more likely it's just the latest image of MarioDB um, has uh, a default that essentially Nextcloud doesn't like. So it says um, the EnoDB, which is the, the format uh, that it uses to connect um, to the database, uh, refuses to, to write tables with the uh, format compressed or, or key block size. Um, so uh, there's a workaround, uh, which I put in my blog. Um, and I got this from another site. Uh, but essentially, what we need to do is we got to go in and we got to turn that off. Okay. So to turn that off, we have to go into the MarioDB container. So what we're going to do is we're going to do sudo docker exec, which is what's going to let us execute in it. Uh, and then we need to bring up a terminal. So this is IT. This is essentially letting us bring up an interactive terminal. Um, and we're going to go into uh, nextcloud, right? nextcloud db. That's the name of the container. And then what terminal we want to use is we're going to use bash. OK, so now here we are in the terminal. Um, and we need to uh, log into it, uh, log into the, uh, the MarioDB. Um, and MarioDB is the open source version of MySQL. So all the commands are MySQL. Um, and following uh, just this page here, um, you essentially want to go in and using the uh, password, so there's the MySQL command MySQL u root, which means I want to use uh, log into MySQL using root, and then I will give it a password. So we'll do that.
So MySQL as user root prompt for password. Now the password for the root user we set again uh, in the YAML file in the Docker Compose. Now this obviously is not the best idea. Uh, this is the password that I set just for this demo. Uh, you should really have a strong password. You shouldn't just type strong password. Okay, and then essentially all we need to do is run this one command. So here, set global NODB compressed off, control C, control shift V. This is a SQL command, okay? So uh, in SQL, all the, um, essentially like the variables are the things that you're interacting with are usually lowercase, but the SQL settings, when you do any settings is all uppercase. And then at the end is followed by a semicolon. So we'll run that. Ran, okay, um, and let's just see if uh, this works now. Now, let's try to... Log in and set this up using MySQL. Okay, let's set the database password. Uh, the database password for this, for this user, is strong password. And we're not going to install recommend apps, finish setup. Okay, so that should have finished the setup. Log in. And here we are. So from here, next cloud loads, uh, you're essentially up and running. So again, there's a pitfalls with any sort of uh, setup, but uh, once you're in here, uh, we can collaborate, we can share files, um, can go over to the files, internal server error. It's, there's a chance occasionally when I was first running this, some of the things were a little bit buggy, like you just saw, like internal server errors. Um, it might be that I just don't have enough resources on this uh, particular virtual machine. Let's exit out of the container. But if you actually uh, see the resources I have, um, it's uh, quite limited. I only have uh, like three gigs of memory. Um, so it's, I mean, it, again, just, just for testing. Um, but yeah, the once you're in here, uh, you can actually sort of see like all the, functionality and strength of, of Nextcloud. I'm not going to do a full tutorial, um, but once we're in here, we should be able to do things like add documents. Uh, so if I were to pull something, just find a sort of a random file. But I think it also supports drag and drop. Yep, there it goes. So you can just uh, use it and essentially it becomes like a really nice collaboration tool. Uh, everyone gets their own account. It becomes like a little, like a default Docker. Um, and there's also apps for it. So if you need like wanted to auto backup things like from an iPad, iPhone, Android phone, um, there's desktop apps for it. It's just like, there's a whole ecosystem. And what's cool is it all runs natively. So you don't have to worry about privacy. You don't have to worry about, uh, going over user quotas. You don't have to worry about monthly fees, um, unless you want to buy the, the enterprise version of Nextcloud, which, um, I've personally not used, but uh, you know, if you are looking to have a business and you need enterprise support, I believe they offer that as well. So uh, a really cool tool, um, really pretty easy to set up. Uh, essentially, all you need to do is uh, you can take my Docker Compose, you can uh, modify it. Um, I have the, a reference or a format in the blog, uh, so you can feel free to just copy and paste. It's just a slightly uh, modified version of what's already on the uh, next cloud um, stable image. Uh, but if you have a uh, Docker set up and you have Docker Compose set up, all you need to do is put this into the directory. Again, uh, in Ubuntu, run Docker Compose up um, and you should be you know, essentially good to go. Uh, assuming you have all, all the mappings and things done. Um, so I just wanted to share that uh, really cool tool um, pretty easy to set up and uh, thank you very much.